Right, good morning, and where are we? 10.23, 23 in the afternoon. Um, I'm going to start off with an apology. Sorry if I had some bad language in that last video. It was a long day, end of the day, and just seeing those French just not doing anything. It was the final straw, so I do apologise for that. Um, not really a place for it. Anyway, let's see what we got here. So, he's pushed forward there, and... Properly engage the Germans now, up to my lines. A lot of routed troops, mind you, they're just skirmishers. Um, however, our reinforcements are sort of on scene, and he's pushing some infantry across as well. Ah, he hasn't gone to the Swedes' aid. He's sorted out a nice, thick black line of um, Prussian cavalry. And my next reinforcements, okay, so they are... Going to have to get involved. What have I got? Infantry coming up. I'm going to split that infantry in two. Send half up here. Not there. Uh, going to send half up here. And then half on the main road. That's my plan for them. Uh, what else have we got? We've got some more reinforcements coming in by the sound of it. Organised chaos down here. Swedes, it just seems to be sort of an advance guard of some... I'm going to say Hussars around see how some so they're going to stay where they are just because it will be chaotic if he does decide to attack there in a the town it just be chaotic he might do um my only concern is if they are dragoons and they can dismount that's the only thing that might be a problem there i would have thought where are we with Niedersgersdorf and the woods Oh, he's pushed right forward. He's taken these school. Wiped us off. Uh, so we've got some routed troops that we need to get onto our side of the river. And we need to exchange some line fire to push him back, if possible. Sending some units into that gap. So is he going to go for these crossings? Possibly. What are we doing up here? So far, nothing good. And... Oh, what's that stack? <laughs> Cavalry, right there. Okay. Wow. All right. And some cavalry up here. So... Need to sort out this mess a little bit. And that's exactly what I'm going to crack on and do. So we're not quite halfway through, but things are definitely heating up. Um, Reinforcement-wise, well, not much to say, really. Everybody's sort of going their own ways. What have we got? We've got some... Germans going up this road, or up this direction. We've got some more troops going up towards Seahausen. We've got some troops that I'm splitting off towards Goldsdorf to go on that sort of high ground, and then Goldsdorf itself. So we're reinforcing everything in that sort of southwest corner to deal with the Swedes and those Germans that have actually gone through. Um, I didn't have a look at the reinforcements that I've got that have arrived, actually. Uh, some line troops under De Villere and OC Quality, and they're going to go up towards Golfsdorf just because beyond Golfsdorf, 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 um, and Niedersgersdorf around here, I need to reinforce that to maybe push up this direction here, around towards Dunovitz itself. Because if he starts going for Dunovitz, I've got nothing there, and I've got a sneaky suspicion he's got some troops that are going to go across that open ground, and we'll have to deal with them. So, what do we have and what can we do here? Uh, pretty much all skirmishing with cavalry. Um, what's he got? Brandenburg cavalry, quite good. Doubt they'll see them. Mind they can. Um, some small quad squadrons, but he's... Ah, low ammo. Okay. Um... I put the, I think it was these guys into square just because I'd, I'm bringing those um, dragoons around the back here. Then going to sort them out, bring that artillery up. Have put a battery of a horse artillery in with the square and delayed that those Polish lancers were coming up here. They're going to sort of hang around there just in case any of this breaks through. 
And then, um, I don't want anybody to break through him. A bit threatened by that big stack. If they broke through there, it's going to sort of ruin my plans a little bit. So, put some more units in square. And what have we got here? Okay. Load low ammo as well. Bring you back. Surely you can move. Yeah. Okay, what else? They're a bit far away. We'll still have a crack. Sorry, their battalions are much bigger than mine at this stage. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And send some of these scams I'm very open on this right hand side. Might actually have to bring the dragoons around to this right hand side. Or a couple of squadrons at least. Maybe that horse artillery on that corner of the high ground. I think that might have to be the plan. No points to no. Okay. It's not the end of the world, but looking a little bit vulnerable on that right hand side, so I think what I will do is bring those squadrons around here and then if unless he's pushed through put that horse artillery there that's a good spot I think and what else have we got we've had to got some artillery up here will they see them no they will not line 600 Oof. big old 700s can't see Oof. not the greatest that one <laughs> Okay, that's about all we can do there. Need is Gusdorf then. Um, I'm going to start with artillery, I think. See if we can't punch a big hole in some of these battalions. <laughs> oh, it doesn't look like we can. Good God, man. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. <laughs> Those option fire results, I mean, wow. Uh, not enough points to get my routed units back across. Um, we do have some skirmishers and some line troops, so hopefully these volleys will be a little bit. They can take more artillery at 200 meters. Sorry, they can take more at 200 meters than artillery can at 300 meters. Wow. Okay. That's the dice for you. All good, though. Um, I have. Now, if I bring them forwards, the trouble is that they'll be trapped then. Um, but I have brought Ney forward. So hopefully he'll be able to start sorting some guys out and being able to give them a bit of a backbone. Sort the artillery out, tell them to take aim a bit better. Not facing, no. And what else have we got? A bit far. So that's about all we can do. Uh, need is Gustav. I'm not too concerned about it there. I've got some reserves, some fresh reserves there. I've got some fresh reserves up there if I need them. Some knackered reserves that just don't seem to be going down in their fatigue. I think they are spent. So not too bad overall. Um, up towards the woods then. I've started bringing all of my cavalry, artillery and squares back. Twofold. I'm going to hang them about in this open ground, possibly up here somewhere, to deal with two things. If he does decide to come from that high ground, they can nip back across here. Or if the threatens Dunovitz, they can go down to Dunovitz. Or a mixture thereof. So that's my plan with them. And did send those two squadrons over to sort of help these guys out, just in case anything breaks out from Jutaberg. And I do have some, what, six squadrons um, to deal with if he does come down from that high ground again. But we've got to sort out what we've actually got up here as well because he's threatening the woods. Oh man. Wow. <laughs> One? Oh, five. Uh, three pounders.
Okay, what else have we got? Some skirmishes and some legers in not bad condition. How many men have we got there in that stack? 400, possibly up to 500-ish. So I'm not going to have a go and... Um, I'm not going to have a go and melee them. Just a quite one gun. Mm. They're quite good where they are. What have we got in this stack? Loads and loads. It's all very well having sort of combined arms, cavalry and infantry, but in the same hex, everything goes to pot. So I don't know if Devin knows that or not. Um, it's, it can be useful, um, but then it can be double-edged sword because you've got a mess to sort out afterwards. Um, 90, 400, uh, it's the guard. Guard in line, I think. Maximum firepower. To take 14 men. <laughs> okay, not the worst. They're absolutely wrecked. Bringing some reserves around, um, but only 243 line troops. Saint Andreas there. Bring him. Oh, he's no movement points. Um, what have we got here? Right, what can this artillery see? Nothing. So we're gonna have a little possible trap. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Bring them back. About face. To deal with anybody that does pop up. And leave skirmishes there as a little... Uh, bait, that's the word I'm looking for. And if he takes that, then he's going to get a mouthful of grape shot. Should he come there? Which I'm hoping he does. We'll see. Uh, so, the woods are a little bit vulnerable at the minute. Do I bring up Hulo and another battalion? Fresh troops, do I? Um, let's have a look what he's got. And he's bringing loads up. No. Labour will probably be needed at Niedersgesdorf. Alright. There we are. We've got 100 pioneers. A big old battalion here, but we need them there. So this is a. It's heating off. I feel a bit vulnerable in a few places now. Um, certainly around Goldsdorf. Seehausen's fine. Niedersgesdorf will hold for a few turns. But if he punches me with all he's got, it'd be a different story. Denovitz is wide open. And, yeah. Hurry up. Basically, that's the what I want everybody here to hurry up but that's a good hour or so until they actually get into the battle certainly up towards Denovitz and sort of the, my right flank at Gorsdorf right I'll send that back to Devon thank you very much for watching and we'll see you for turn the next one 24 welcome back to where are we turn 24 10 to 3 in the afternoon Good news reinforcements arrived we've got some units disordered rallied routed 11 units were routed all together and some resupply got them. Okay. Easiest thing to do is actually check. Oh, he's got up to the hill. He's actually got up to the hill and he's going to get met with some cavalry if he's not careful. And that's exactly what I'm going to do with this cavalry here. Bring them up to the hill to reinforce them. Staying back with these <laughs> hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of cavalry. I'm not going to say thousands. Um, but there is a lot of cavalry there. As long as he holds back, it's given me more time to bring up my reinforcements, which is always good. A lot of hussars here. An awful lot of hussars. A wonderful elaborate uniform. What's that on the side there? Is that on there? Uh, strange. Okay, so where are we at? Nidis Gustav, he's reached the crossings. And he doesn't look like he's coming... My plan didn't work. I thought he, those skirmishes were at his bait, remember, and I thought he would come nip back and get them. For some reason, we can now again see those guns. I wonder if it's them that's... No? I wonder who can see them, then. My guns, maybe? 
There's only people that have got line of sight on him. Uh, only unit that's got line of sight on him. Oh, heartache. Right. And then reinforcement wise, it's still a bit of a an organised mess. Is that some, oh no, that's just the Swedes and some Russians. Oh, blimey, governor. Right. More. <laughs> so we're going to have a third, fourth area of operations. We've got the woods, we've got Niedersgesdorf, Golfsdorf, and soon to be Blonsdorf stroke Seahausen. We are not half spread across this map. That's why I quite like this. I think I think they probably mentioned it as well. Sorry if I'm repeating myself, but Campaign Leipzig is definitely the best of the Tiller and Napoleonic games, I think. Especially now, there's no reason not to. And I to get it after the new maps. Always, everyone that asks me, what's the best one? What do you recommend? What do I get next, etc.? Well, the first answer is, well, it depends what campaign interests you the most. Because you'll get the most enjoyment out of that, obviously. However, next one, or somebody that's new, definitely Leipzig. Massive armies, varied armies from pretty much every nation near enough, apart from um, the Anglo Allies. Massive maps, r loads of room for manoeuvre, a lot of scenarios that are very um, evenly matched, which is not always the case in all of the games. Basically, no reason not to get this one, especially after the update. It's worth every penny. Okay. Okay, I'm going to get cracking, and I'll see you in a few. I think I'll start. I mean, look at that jump map. <laughs> Making use of pretty much half of the map, a good half of the map. We're all very much spread out. Um, we'll start out by Judeberg and the Woods. Um, I'm continuing to move my cavalry back, or everybody back really, just to get that midway point between Denevitz and Judeberg down here. And to have a trap if needs be. If he does come off of that ridge, then I'll have a sort of reserve force here to pounce on him, plus my cavalry ideal world. I dare say he knows they're there and he's not that daft though. Um, it's all going to be artillery I think around here. I'll get cracking with that, see what we can take. One man with our three pounders. Um, three pounders again. Our one gun. See what the Milan Guard can do. Oh, no, not too bad. Now, can this gun, I would say, can see, yeah. So, we'll get them back to rest because they are pretty tired as well. Um. Supplies not doing that great, not too bad. Okay. Carry on bringing some reinforcements up. Forgot about them. I think I'm going to bring them up as well. So we're holding out of the woods. It's not too bad. Not the not the best situation, but not the worst. We're just it's a stalemate. Well, that's how I want it to be at this moment in time. Uh, the only other bit of news is I'm actually going to, or I have limited up that artillery, and I'm going to bring them back over here because not so much what's needed is because of now, it's what's coming. One, two, three, six, seven, eight battalions, something like that, and he's got some cavalry up, and he's bringing some artillery up. So, we need to start taking a lot of troops, and hopefully our artillery is going to do the job. That's a bit better. Still got 500. <laughs> Big old battalions. One man. One man. What were they aiming at? Okay. Okay. 
Okay, skirmish is clear. I'm just going to let the skirmishes be trapped there, I think. Uh, who do we want? We'll take Belair forward. Okay, so hopefully we've given him a, a bit of a bloody nose. He does have quite a few routed troops there, so a lot of them are skirmishes up here, though. And if we can keep that rate going and hold out, as I say, this point is sort of critical. Uh, it doesn't look like he's going for Dunovitz at the moment. I'm hoping he doesn't know how weak I actually am there. Maybe just a show of force is enough um, to sort of say, oh, no, I'm not going to go there. Because it's kind of logical. You'd think Denebit's been the name of the battle and how many victory points? Only 100. But you'd have thought that's sort of a, the main VP, the the diamond VP, if you like. However, I'm not holding it <laughs> with anything strong. Uh, Goldsdorf. Um, bit of a mess at Goldsdorf, if I'm honest. So um, what I've done is sneak some cavalry around the side just to make him take note. Got some horse artillery up and some dragoons up as well. But I'm going to have a bit of a fallback position, I think. That's what I'm going to do. The other thing is... Actually, bring them forward. I'm knackered, but you need to go in line. Uh, the other thing is... Uh, units route in Goldsdorf itself, where I had some cavalry. So, of course, they disordered and got in amongst the cavalry, which is a bit annoying, but there you go. So they couldn't get quite as far as I wanted them to include in my Karassiers, which is annoying. They're coming up to the side, and I'm going to try and line up a charge. Um, around here, no change really, just bringing reinforcements forward. Um, I brought my horse artillery and deployed it in this square here. And actually, I'm going to put them into... Oh, not them. These guys into line. Because if he bumps into me, which I'm kind of hoping he does... Um, it'll get a nasty surprise. I'm going to keep these guys in square though, just because of them. Let's see, what does he got? It's 50s. Second one down. One man, wow. What do we got here? An absolute mess. So we've got 700 and a 500 light year. So you're going to get it. Uh, I think line troops, you can fire on the ones in the windmill. Skirmishers, all 32 of you. Uh, you're behind infantry, now we're getting into stacking issues. Um, you can just turn around. Oh, I just need them to hold a turn or two, just to get this artillery set up. And get a bit of a fallback position. Massive bloody battalions. No, they're not both facing the same way, but just in case, I hate having sort of disorganised units like that, one facing one way, one facing the other. Um, but if he does pop up... Wow, very windy all of a sudden. Um, if he does pop up over that hill, which I think he's going to do... Oh, they've got low ammo as well. Not doing very well here. Let's get you lances forward. I'm going to have enough for a counter-attack in a few turns, I'm hoping. <laughs> um, what have we got here? Wow. That is very windy all of a sudden. Uh, Reinforcement-wise, well, Seahousen, they're going to have to wait a few turns until... Who have we got coming up? Saxon Hussars, Saxon Hussars, some artillery. We've got artillery and cavalry going up there. And there's the rain as well. Just, that's outside. Um, up to Melensdorf. And who arrived that turn? These chaps here. Guillemot and some line troops. And they're going to go up to Goldsdorf. And that, my friends, is about all I can do at the minute. Um, 
it really has started to kick off. I've been enjoying this one. Not much in it at all. He's lost a bit more cavalry. And um, we have lost some leaders. Who have we got? Who's gone? Uh, what do we want? Leader casualties. Doring's gone from me. Oh, Major General, 12 points. And Stutterheim gone. Where did he go? I can't see. Oh, he just disappeared. Uh, leader casualties. So he went with the Germans. And Stutterheim. He also went with the fighting around here. Can we hold? I hope so. All right, I'm going to send this off to Devin. Thank you very much for watching as always. Thank you very much for comments as always. Have a good day and see you for the next one.